Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel, and please enjoy this comparison video of the Bachman and Hornby Thomas and Annie and Clarabelle. Now right off the bat, I'm going to say that these models have more differences than they do similarities. But let's move on to the Bachman Thomas. So, let's start with the history of the Bachman Thomas. So, the Bachman Thomas was introduced in 2002 by Bachman Industries of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In 2005, it was uh, released as the Basic Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle set. In 2008, this model right here uh, got a snowplow and a Santa hat in the Holiday Special set. In 2014, this Thomas uh, became available with sound. And in 2015, this Thomas got a metallic sort of finish and uh, for the 70th anniversary celebration. So today there are four different Bachman Thomas models available for purchase. As we look at the details, we can clearly see that this Thomas model is based on the television series, not the railway series. Uh, you can tell that uh, by the uh, actual television series look and the white buffer beam. So, uh, details on Thomas include a lamp on the front as well as two lamp irons, a gray hook, two buffers, six wheels, the distinctive two whistles, uh, his trademark number one and blue paintwork, and a tall funnel and face with moving eyes. On the back you can see we got a closed cab, a cab door, steps going up to the cab, a lamp on the back which is colored white, another gray hook and a vacuum pipe, and I'm gonna have to move them all for this, a uh, distinctive coal load. Since 2002 the Bachman Thomas has been made in six different sets including the Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle set, the Deluxe Thomas and Friends Special set, the Thomas Fun with Freight set, the Thomas's Holiday Special set, the Thomas's Christmas Express set, and the Whistle and Chuff Thomas set. The current retail price for the Bachman Thomas on the Bachman Trains website is 85 US dollars. In British pounds that translates to 64 pounds and 52 pence. Now it's time to look at the Hornby Thomas. Here's the Hornby Thomas. Now for a little history. So the Hornby Thomas was introduced in 1985 by the Hornby Railways Company of Great Britain. In 1985, the Hornby Thomas uh, had a very gray face and it looked nothing like the Hornby Thomas that you see here. It uh, was way darker, and it was not based on the television series. That only lasted one year. Now let's look at the details of the Hornby Thomas. So, right off the bat, you can easily tell that the Hornby Thomas's shade of blue is uh, darker than the television series Thomas's shade of blue, and the railway series uh, Thomas's shade of blue. The Hornby Thomas also has a blue running plate instead of a white running plate. However, this error was fixed in 2015 when the Hornby Thomas range was re-released. This Thomas model is not based on the television series, but is instead based on the real Class E2 steam locomotive. Looking at the back of this Hornby Thomas model, you can see that there are lamp hooks on the back and that uh, this Hornby Thomas model is missing a buffer on its back. I will get a new body for this Hornby Thomas uh, probably around Christmas time, so that won't be a big problem for long. You can't see it on camera, but there is a little bit of fake coal in there. You can also see how vibrant the red stripes are. This Hornby Thomas has a set of traction tires on its middle wheels. Note, if you buy the Hornby Thomas today, you will not get traction tires on your Hornby Thomas, because this Hornby Thomas was made in 1998. The current retail price for the Hornby Thomas on the Hornby Hobbies website is 43 pounds and 99 pence, which equals to 57 US dollars and 96 cents. Now time to compare the two models side by side.
Looking at the two models side by side, it is relatively clear in the difference in size. It is also relatively clear that the Hornby Thomas is much more suitable for the younger aged modeler, and that the Bachman Thomas is more for the middle aged and older aged modelers. Now let's take a look at the similarities and the differences in the Annie and Clarabelles. So the Bachman A and Clarabelle's history is that they were introduced in 2002, along with Thomas, Percy, and James, and the Troublesome Trucks. They have stayed the same since then. They have not changed one little bit. The printing of the names on both coaches are amazing. The orange paint color is spot on to the TV show, as is the white roof. The major downside is that the bottoms of these coaches are gray. In the TV show, they wore a dark black. Bachman kind of messed that up, and they've continued to mess that up today. The faces on these models are very good, too. Some details included on the Bachman and Clarabelle are the uh, door hinges, the uh, nose detail, the top of the roof has a bit of detail to it, and uh, so does the uh, brake shoes and the wheels. The major downsides of these models, other than the gray, is that they don't have any dummy couplings. But I guess it really doesn't matter. Now we move on to the Hornby Annie and Clarabelle. The Hornby Annie and Clarabelle are also really nice models. The only downside is that they are a little bit too short in comparison to the TV series models. Once again, the printing of the names is great on both coaches, as is the roof detail. It's a little bit lacking, but it's at least some roof detail. The bottoms of these coaches also have some detail in the undercarriage that the Bachman models don't have. The faces on these models are very good. I personally prefer them a little bit over the Bachman version, except that the eyelids are a little bit too light in shade, but Hornby recently fixed that on their new Annie and Clarabelle. Now let's see all four of these coaches up next to each other. All four of these coaches together look really good. You can see that the Hornby models are shorter and they are taller than the Bachman ones. The Bachman, Annie, and Clarabelle are sold individually and each coach costs 28 US dollars which comes out to 21 British pounds and 25 pence. The Hornby Annie and Clarabelle today are sold as a pair, and the pair of them costs 21 British pounds and 99 pence. That equates to 28 US dollars and 97 cents. Tell me which brand you like better. I personally prefer the Bachman Thomas and Annie and Clarabelle, but that's your own opinion. So for now, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is TrainFan365 signing off. I hope you enjoyed this comparison video, and have a good day.